Well, we're just sitting here working on our computers, but with this coronavirus, it's kind of a hard deal for us to get out and go on trips. But we did make one by ourselves, and Linda and I went down to London Borough, took another little side trip. Thought you might be interested in seeing what we've been up to. Alright, take care, here we go. Well, after being isolated for a couple months, we decided to go out and look at some historic areas that we've been to before to see if they've changed what the desert looks like. It's a pretty fun trip. It's a long ways across the Escalante Desert, as you can see here, but it was very interesting. Come along with us on this trip, and then we're going to take another trip out to another area for some petroglyphs to see how that looks today. Anyway, let's go down to London Borough and see if anything's changed down there. Well, Lund is slowly deteriorating, as you can see by these pictures, and I don't know who lives here now or who takes care of this. I imagine nobody does because it's in pretty bad shape. Anyway, let's get going here and we'll take a look at some of these other places here in town, and you can if you want to take a look at this for yourself, I think it'd be a good idea to come down here now before Mother Nature takes it over completely. If you want to see a complete history of Lund and what it was originally uh, developed for, then go to our website, or you'll find a link below, and look at that. There's some placards in there that'll tell you what the historical facts for the town were. Let's get going here and head on down to Burrow. Well, here we are entering uh, Burrow. Take a look at the pictures and the dates on them, and you'll see how much this is degraded naturally. It's these little towns down here along the railroad are falling apart. Nature's slowly reclaiming this. So, if you want to see what it looked like, come and take a look at it now. This is probably one of the old storefronts in Burrow. On the next image, which is a map, you'll see there's a notation that says New Road to Explore. Well, we did go down that road, and here's a few pictures that we took back in uh, along the mountains. It's a shortcut from Antelope Road over 
to Desert Mound Road. It's kind of interesting and it's included in the GPS track on the website. The next day we went 2.7 miles east of Parowan Gap to take a look at these petroglyphs. They're still there, everything's fine. This is something not many people see though because it's not advertised like Parowan Gap. But you really should come and take a look at it. A lot of really old petroglyphs in this area. And some really pretty sandstone red sandstone cliffs in the area and then of course we had to find one downer some idiot decided to kill a bunch of bunnies then on the way over to iron springs road resort we ran into this guy very handsome devil pretty good size one too anyway he decided he wanted to take off and leave so we left him alone well, I guess you could say Utah has officially opened everything now. At least in our area, there was thousands of people here for a concert. I guess they had fun. I hope that coronavirus didn't get any worse because of this. Okay, hope everybody enjoyed this. Have a good one. We'll catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe.